Hello, this is Brian Croft. I'm here to teach you how to add like fractions. All right. Well, the first question of the day is, what does a fraction look like? So let me show you. Hold on a second. Ah, there it is. That is a fraction. That is a piece of a whole number. Now, it's going to stay there, hopefully. Hopefully it'll stay there. All right. You know what we're going to do? We're going to get another one. Hold on a second. Okay. All right. Here's the other one. Right there. Now, the question is, what are we going to do with these guys? Like I said before, this topic is going to be on adding like fractions. So, let's add them. Just a second. There you go. All right, I didn't mean to hit those off, but what are you going to do? Okay, so we're going to pick this guy up. Pick this guy up. You see here, we're going to add these two together. The reason we can actually add these together is because the denominators, let me put them down for a second, this number is the same. So that's good. That means we can add these two together. So let's pick this one up again. Now, we're going to add these fractions together. The question is, what do we actually add? Well, I can tell you guys right now, the uh, denominators, these little guys right here, don't need them. Gone. Not necessary. That one too. Gone. Okay, awesome. So, we got these. These are the numerators. These are the top of the fractions. These are what we're going to be adding together. Now, I'll put that there. Remind me to go and grab that denominator once we're done adding these. That'd be great. Okay. So, we do what we do best. We add these together. So, you take these, put these together, and boom! Look at that. What do we got there? It's a two. Excellent. So we took a one and a one, added them together, and we got a two. Now, let me balance this guy here. Ugh, grab this. All right, we got our denominator back. I accidentally threw it. So, let's go like this. Put it right on top of there. Excellent. We have our fraction now. So, let's put this here. But check it out. As you can see, we have one fourth here. And we got another one fourth here. Now, apparently, when you add these two together, you get that. You get this two fourths here. Which is good. We're doing it right. So, Let's, um, 